was convinced that the non-communication field uh, was really creative, innovative and useful for the education in general. And uh, I wanted to have a shop window to show it, to promote it and to make all other people benefiting of it. This was the main idea behind and um, and then was the first tool fair. This year we decided as a title for the Tool 407, Tools for Changes, because uh, the educational field, both non-formal education and formal education, are facing challenges and also uncertainties that requires a lot of tools and strategies for that. So we have to be very focused, we have to create new tools, but overall we have to be strategic in these challenges that are waiting for us. The main actors of this event, 2 for 7, are the participants. They come from over 30 countries, but also we've got Salto Resource Centers and different national agencies who are the organizers. In my daily life, I'm a youth coordinator for Red Cross and I help our volunteers to make youth actions, campaigns, clubs and many kinds of things. I work in the youth organization Libertas International. So my work is to organize projects for young people in high schools, in my community, especially with uh, communities with migrant young people living in Spain, actually. And I coordinate projects of uh, youth exchanges, training courses, seminars, activities in high schools. So that's what I do. And in daily life, I'm uh, leading a project for uh, uh, high school students um, and we're uh, having two Polish girls in our project who are volunteering and uh, we prepare high school students for their, um, let's say, for the labour market. I think in general um, I, I am one of those people that believe uh, that uh, I am the tool. And it's a real pleasure to be here at this tools fair and um, my expectation of being here is really to discover new people, new ways, new tools for non-formal education and empowerment. Uh, I think it's a very important program and I'm really happy to be here and learn new ways. workshop called uh, The Media is for Us and we were discussing how to put media in uh, the use of youth work so that uh, we wouldn't allow media to use us but instead use the media for the good of us. Today we've had this open space tools technology mm -hmm. and I've had the most enjoyment um, 
from those two things that I went to there. One was about uh, how do you use your body in expression and getting in contact with other people, um, which was a very emotional uh, workshop and very funny and great. Yeah. Really helped people to, to communicate with each other. And the last one was about creativity, so what helps us be creative and what are the blocks to that. Uh, I was about the monologue at the moment because it was just the activity I came from and it was great because we practiced the uh, idea how to speak with uh, how the other people speak about what you have in your mind. Starting from the from the title, it was a use your imagination. May use your imagination deeply because uh, we everything is static in our heads, and we can use uh, all tools, all the materials. And this idea was to show people by uh, on example on bottle race which we made our city. What kind of uh, do we can. Uh, prepare what kind of uh, event we can uh, we can prepare to people involving and us as a participants but also local society and putting let's talk soup uh, soup projects inside as uh, some ecological things or, or others I really don't have a top, a top three or top five or top ten. Uh, for me, it is important the context itself, the framework that is created here for everyone to share and everyone to learn. And um, yes, I think this is the best that I take back. Just the idea of sharing and uh, for learning new things every time and in every context. The tool that uh, facilitated, uh, fa uh, really facilitated the learning uh, and uh, as a trainer in Euromet, uh, we need, uh, the tool is our basement, it's our arms, <laughs> uh, that's why it's very, very, very helpful to be here for us and it's kind of update for what we knew and what we learned about tools. I will use it for sure in workshops for youngsters and in a formal and non-formal way and mainly outdoor activities which we do. That's a very interesting question. I think because those things you may do um, everywhere and anytime when you have somebody to assist. The most important is not the tool itself, just is uh, I like the networking is also that's happening here. We're coming from different regions and we were meeting a lot of uh, people that uh, potential partners, partners, we can have a lot of work. And this is very important. It's not just uh, networking uh, through the internet and uh, meeting people in a human and in person is very important because uh, we, it's, we're building partnership and trust and this is we can work for a future. This is what mostly I will take home. And then also, of course, about the tools we will learned from the sessions. We are working for um, creating the, the future of education all together. Uh, there was a question in a workshop that's uh, from where we should start to change the educational paradigmas from the Minister of Education, from where? From everywhere. So let's start with the tool fair, which is a place where relevant stakeholders can meet, work, discuss, learn and also think strategically for the future, as I was saying, about the changes that we are facing. 
I'm sure it's really worth to invest time, money, people and all of the efforts to um, create, to build, to refer and events like this because people get so much out of it and they can spread it around their organizations so we learn, they learn, everybody learns and everybody is happy.